Kat and Eva, and welcome back to Holo Holo, your top entertainment and lifestyle show for Asian Pacific Americans. And joining us today is an author who wrote the book Soul Food. It is the first creative nonfiction book about Korean, second generation Korean Americans living in Los Angeles. And it touches topics such as cultural identity, Korean cultures, personal struggles, and even more. Welcome, Sarai Ku. Welcome Thank so much. You. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much for being here. Yes, yes. <laughs> now, first, um, tell me what what inspired you to write Soul Food? Um, there's multiple reasons why uh -huh. I wrote Soul Food. Right. Um, first is there's no books that's a nonfiction about Korean American. Yeah. And you know, just being Asian American, just really identifying and really drawing out the secrets and things that are hidden yeah. is unknown. Right. And I said, you know what? If no one's gonna write it, I'll be the first author. <laughs> was, was there any hesitation at first? Like, what well, are the my family gonna say? No, that's exactly oh. it. So you know, I don't know about the Asian culture, but like also in the Korean culture is um, you don't share things right. that's going to reveal certain information. Mm -hmm. And I said. We got to tell the truth. Yeah. <laughs> we got to share our story because to... you're not the only one going through it, you know? Exactly. Yeah. And so um, parents were slightly hesitant because they don't read English. Right. And so they said, what did you put in the book? I'm like, don't worry, <laughs> I'm telling the truth. Yes. Um, the second reason why I wrote the book was um, it was in my graduate class. Oh, okay. And my homework assignment was to read uh, Sandra Cisnero's House on Mango Street. Uh-huh. And I was inspired by the short vignettes. Right. I also read uh, Joy Luck Club. Mm -hmm. And I said, uh, the book is based upon the vignettes. Right. and the short stories um, and drawing upon you know the coming of age book mm -hmm. um, the third issue uh, the third reason why i actually wrote soul food is we need to demystify the model minority stereotypes we need we need to debunk it mm -hmm. we need to address some of these um, um, psychosocial issues right. that are impeding a lot of the aapi uh, you know this generation the second generation exactly and, and so i needed to write something that was truthful mm -hmm. and also that will be impactful but funny but yes <laughs> i don't know about you but I, you know when we read certain books they're like oh i hate being this yeah. i hate being this yeah. whoa i hate being female asian whatever right. and, and so one of the things the reason why i wanted to write it i wanted to write in a humorous way yes so um i know you read some chapters i did read some chapters <laughs> i was gonna ask you i noticed that you talk about vignettes i noticed that you break it down into three parts in yes. your book um tell me a little bit about that so the book is bro uh, broken down in three parts uh -huh. the first is pojagi mm -hmm. uh, the second is pibimbap and panchan uh -huh. and the third is chun okay and so like pojagi is like um it's like a, is it like a quilt it's, it's kind of like a quilt but not yeah. really it's uh -huh. a linen and it's square shapes and it, it it's used to cover it's like wrapping paper or right. cover food right and so i talk about how my two grandmas uh, create their whole masterpieces, yeah. but one's broken and uh -huh. one is whole. Okay. One uses their own ideologies of what is um, their way, the right way. Right. And that's why we have a lot of issues in America and in the world of violence, mm -hmm. disagreements, mm -hmm. because it's their way. Yeah. Uh, my mother, my grandma from my mother's side right. talks about love, covering all pain love with that. love. Yeah. Um, the second component is bibibap and panchan. Oh, <laughs> we are. <laughs> I know what that is. You know panchan. Yeah, I do. So, I love panchan. <laughs> and it's free. Yes. <laughs> so panchan is uh, side dishes that you order at Korean restaurants or right. when we eat at home. Love it because it's free. <laughs> um, but you know, when you look at the panchans, when you go to different restaurants, it's different it, at each it, one. It's different. There's oh. different panchans, but at Sometimes they're, it looks like the same panchan when you go to a, you see the same kimchi, mm -hmm. but it tastes different. Yes. So I talk about in the second part is that uh, we see these panchans <gasps> and we think it's all the same, but they taste different, it's a different design, yeah. they look different, and it's the same with Asians. Yeah. You know, people look at Asians, they're like, yeah, I look the same. Yeah. But we're not. <laughs> we're not. We're not at all. You know, in, in the AAPI community, we have so we, there's diversity everywhere, diverse right. cultures, right. languages, exactly. and so we just need to break that apart. Uh -huh. And um, the last part is chan. Chan. It's an embedding of sociocultural theory about we learn through people, mm -hmm. we learn through our society, of right. everything, right? And so when we are born, we have this culture, but there's times when we're growing up and you're like, I don't want to be here, I yeah. don't want to go there. But it's like, you try to run away, mm -hmm. but realizing that this is all part of you. you right? I love how you say that in that book. It's like, you want to get away, but all, everything that you're going through, all your environment, what you're living, it makes you who you are. Yes, yeah, yes. I and love that. One of, you know, and that's one of the reasons why I wrote Soul Food is oh. because people say, well, I have all these issues and things like that. And I said, you know what? It's, it's a compilation of everything of what you went through, mm -hmm. but now you have a choice. 
Yeah. And that's in <laughs> Bibibap and Panchan is we have pain and we have happiness. Uh -huh. And we ingest, you know, the good, the bad, and the ugly. Right. And so what, we, what do we do? Most human beings uh -huh. will hold on to ugliness yes. and pain. Uh -huh. I said, you can't do that. You have to take it out. It's all how you deal with it. Yeah. yeah. It's putting that love, surrounding that love. You also um, use food and your mom giving you advice through food. I love how that goes in your book. Tell me a little bit more about multi layers that. Multi-layers with food. Yeah. <laughs> right? <laughs> Soul food. <laughs> so um, my mom is very, a very wise woman. Right. And she teaches me a lot of what to do, what not to do. Mm -hmm. Like, where do we learn that? Yeah, you know, we learn through people, but we learn through our parents. Yeah, mainly our parents. And so, um, you know, culture and food and language is so embedded. Yeah. And so I love Korean food. Mm -hmm. And so I used, okay, so what? how can we address the Korean American uh, culture? Right. I said food. Yeah. But you know what? It's not... Um, I'm not Korean, but I read parts of this and I could relate. So it's not yes. just for Korean Americans, it's for API, yes, right? Yes, it is. It's actually for children um, who have uh, parents who have immigrated to America. Yeah. It's the grow it's the coming of age of anybody who is who's living in that bicultural world right. and where do I belong? What's my identity? Are you second generation? Or? Uh, yeah, second and two and a half. I two guess. and a half? Yeah, something like that. <laughs> yeah, second. <laughs> and so we're all going through this journey of like, who are we? Like, exactly. who am I? What am I supposed to do? Like, and what am I supposed to, like, why am I here on why? Earth? Yeah. And so these, where do this, I belong? <laughs> and this is just the taste of getting people to think and reflect about their past. Yeah, so that's and your then, goal for soul food. And my goal for soul food is to help people heal. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now for a copy, where can we go to get um, a copy Amazon, of Soul Food? Uh -huh. Amazon or my website, www.soulfood.us. Uh -huh. .us. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so much, Thank Sarai. You. So motivating and inspirational. <laughs> <laughs> Have fun chatting with you yeah, today. I know. <laughs> hey, and for more information on Sarai and to grab a copy of her book, Soul Food, make sure to go to her website on the screen. Time for a quick break, but we have more entertainment and lifestyle news after the break.